what is the what is the true definition of smart? And does that make school a waste of time? Yo, what's going on guys? Gabe Wilson here, aka The Truth. Done know the active black dad back with another video. So a few weeks ago, I was at my friend's kid's birthday party and I was chatting to my friend, Sully Briggs. Sully is an amazing spoken word artist who is the writer of Why I Hate School But Love Education and continues to challenge and open up this much needed conversation. Why does he have to study subjects he will never ever use in his life? And she will look at him blank eyed, stifle a sigh, think for a second and then lie. She'll say something along the lines of, you know to get a good job you need a good degree and these subjects will help you get a good degree. We never had this opportunity when I was younger. Socrates, Malcolm X, Mother Teresa, Spielberg, Shakespeare, Beethoven, Jesse Owens, Muhammad Ali, Sean Carter, Michael Jeffrey Jordan, Michael Joseph Jackson, were either of these people unsuccessful or uneducated? As if education is the key, then school is the lock because it rarely ever develops your mind to the point where it can perceive red as green and continue to go when someone else said stop. But I digress. You know what to do. Smash the ting, yeah? My time in school was, <laughs> some would say interesting. I wasn't a bad kid, you know, I got good grades, but there were some things that I just didn't have much interest in. And funny story, I've spoken about this on the channel before. I remember a parents evening, year 11 parents evening, and I was talking to, uh, one of my teachers, Mr. Vinton, and he literally said to my parents' face that I wouldn't amount to anything and I'd probably end up working in a corner shop. You know, it wasn't like I wasn't failing classes. I was actually doing really well in, you know, majority of classes. It was just a few, I guess, just didn't like me. But anyway, it shows the flaws in the teaching system and how important it is to have people that actually like their job and actually want to teach. Especially being from an African household where, you know, the, the degrees and you know, are you a doctor? Are you an engineer? Like those are the, the labels of success which are held on a pedestal so high. And going through my time in school and at uni and stuff, I've, I've always somewhat pushed against this notion that, you know, that doesn't, that doesn't define us. And it's funny because this was more apparent at uni than anything else, but I've had friends who have been smart, like book smart, with no common sense for no one. Like there's, there's nothing there. Like you ask them a question about just what you'd class as general knowledge. If they haven't studied it, they don't know it. Is, is reading a book and understanding the laws of physics based on literature or is practical knowledge the smart thing? And that was when I started asking the question, what is the, what is the true definition of smart? And does that make school a waste of time? Now, as a lot of you know, I've got two boys now. I've got one who's age two and one who's age six. Bearing in mind that Elijah is in school now <laughs> and Ezra's gonna be starting school soon. And that's, you know, the beginning of their lives is a, it's a big chunk. Because my thing is, I've never looked at school. And when I say school, I mean the vocational institution. I've never seen that as being the be all and end all. Even the infamous Elon Musk doesn't agree with society's depiction of what school should be. In fact, I think a lot of things people learn are probably there's no point in, in learning them. Because um, they, they, they never use them in, in the future. Because a lot of kids are just in, in school kind of puzzled as to why yeah. they're there. Many teachers, especially when my siblings and I were in school, failed to acknowledge that everyone learns differently. She will rely on society to tell her that her child, who has one of the sharpest minds in the school, is hyperactive, unfocused, easily distracted and wayward. But the early years, of school are mad important. You need English to be able to communicate. You need maths. They're almost like the jab when it comes to boxing. The right hook will take you around the block, but the jab will take you around the world. So that, that's how I see the core subjects, the English, maths and science. But the focus needs to be more for financial literacy, keeping a creative and explorative mind. Plus who doesn't want to put two parts hydrogen and one part oxygen into a balloon and set it alight? Right? But that nicely leads me on to the sponsor, which I'm very grateful for, of this video, which is Go Student. Go Student is an awesome online tutoring service to help your kids improve, whether it be maths, biology, science, English. And if you're like me and it's been a while since you've been in school, there might be a few things that you might be missing out on. So probably best to bring in the cavalry. Private one-to-one -one sessions are 50 minutes and can be done whenever. If you want to do it on the weekend, cool. Daytime, cool. Holidays, Cool. I know one of the hardest things when my parents were looking for a tutor for me was one, finding the right person. Are they in the right location? Do they get on? Do they do they teach well? The Go Student Consultants take all the hard work out of it and make sure they find a good tutor that matches your child. The consultants take time to understand what your child likes, 
the types of things that interest them and they make sure that the tutor deliver the lessons in a fun and interactive way. Because we all know not everyone learns the same way. Everyone has their own way of learning. So Go Student is great for that. And I think that makes me a Go Dad. Elijah has loved his past few sessions of creative writing and I really wanted to expand that side of his mind being a creative myself. So if you're interested as well, make sure you hit the links in the description and there's a very unique 10% discount off. Plus you get your first lesson free. So you go dad, or go mom, or go granny. You go you. I know you're hearing all of that and you're like, for those that know me, you're like, Gabe, okay, didn't you go to uni? Like you, you literally did the school, college, sixth form, and then uni. But I'm thankful that I went to uni. I'm thankful that I went to uni, not necessarily for the degree that I've never used <laughs> since I left, but for the person that it's molded me into, being away from home, going through that higher, higher learning process of, you know, just sticking to something to the end. I explored so many skills when I was there and I'm very, very thankful for that, for that time. But in this day and age where literally a five-year-old can open toys and post it on YouTube and have a multi-million pound company from that. Or even gaming. You've got some people that bang game all day and they get paid millions. So where do we strike the balance? So personally, I, I want to stress the importance of the early learning stages. That, that's like, that's the foundation of anything and anything that's going to grow to be great needs a good foundation, but also needs people that want to teach which personally I feel like I, school I went to, <coughs> Wallingham Secondary. There were only like a handful of teachers that were ready to, and, and actually willing to teach and, and loved teaching. No matter who the student was, they knew the different approaches because not everyone studies the same. And then the very real benefits of higher education, for example, my friend JK, who wanted to join an RAF as an engineer and he knew that he needed to go through that process of getting his aerospace en engineering degree to be able to do that job. You know, you can't just say, I wanna be a doctor and then the next day you can be a doctor. You need to go through that process. So if it's very specific, I have, th there's nothing wrong with that. But I think whilst doing that, there also needs to be something that keeps, it's almost like keeping the inner child alive. When we're young, we have such creative minds. We have such free, thinking mind then as we get older it just kind of like degrades finding a way to keep that whilst doing whatever i think that's the main core and the main key thing to focus on but that generational curse of school and a higher learning and you must go to college and you must go to uni that generational curse dead times have changed show this to your parents but i want to know from you guys what's your definition of smart and second question to leave in the comments. Do you think that conventional schooling and higher learning is necessary or do you think it's a waste of time? I wanna hear everyone's opinions. Let's start a conversation in the comments. Big shout out to Go Student once again for all your online tutoring needs. Don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. And we are Chimbo. There's more than one way in this world to be an educated man. <laughs>